In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the MagPlus Reviewer. The MagPlus Reviewer is a really powerful part of the MagPlus Creation Suite because it allows you to see in real time as you're building your layouts exactly what they're going to look like when they're all done and your user is looking at them through your branded reader app. It's built on the exact same code, so all the functionality and interaction that you put in in InDesign you can preview fully functional in the MagPlus Reviewer. Now the reviewer is available as a free app for uh, iPad, iPhone, all the Android devices including Android Mobile and the Kindle Fires. And you can find them for free out in those respective stores. So you can see here in the iTunes store if I just search for reviewer I'll get the iPhone and the iPad version and you can just download and install it the same way you would install any app. When you do you're going to see it here on your iPad screen. Now what you're looking at here is the screen of my iPad which is sitting next to my laptop here and I'm just using a simple app called Reflection App right here to mirror what's on my iPad screen on my laptop screen so that you can see what's going on. So that's what you're looking at. If I open up the MagPlus Reviewer here you'll see I go immediately into my library. That's where it's going to store all of the designs that we push to it at least until you delete them. If I show you what's in some of these other tabs, about is just what version you're using and some of the licenses. MagPlus support is really handy. This will pop up a window which will go directly to our MagPlus support site as long as your iPad is online. And there's a lot of really great tutorials, videos, etc. out here. So if you're using the reviewer, you're laying something out and you get stuck, just tap the support button. You can come out here and find your answer, even ask us a question. Introduction is just a simple sample issue that we've put together to have embedded in here. There it pulls up. And user settings we'll walk through in more detail in a minute. So let's pop back to the library and let's show you how to connect your MagPlus reviewer to your computer. The way that those two devices talk to each other so that it can push the designs is over Wi-Fi. So what you want to do is make sure that both your devices are on the same Wi-Fi network. You can see here that on my computer, I'm on the network Lili. And here on my iPad, once the mirroring comes through, you'll see, there we go, that I'm on Lili here as well. So that's the really important thing. Make sure they're always on the same Wi Fi network because it's the only way the two devices are going to talk to each other. So let's pop back into our MagPlus reviewer. And making these two talk to each other, connecting them, is dead simple. When you go into InDesign, Click on your MagPlus settings part of the plugin, and under here, push review to device. Make sure this is selected because that is what it sounds like. It's going to push the review of this out to your device, to your iPad. If you click this little refresh button, it's going to look for any iPad or Android device running the reviewer app that is on this same network, and it's going to pull up the name of that device. So you can see here, this is my old PopSci iPad, so I've got that device pulled up. All I do is select it, and boom, I'm ready to go. Now, if it doesn't come up for some reason, you can manually enter the IP address of the device as well. Just go out to your reviewer, hit the user settings, and you'll see this push service. This is the IP address of the device. And always make sure that this enable push service is set to on. So once you've got that IP address, you can pop back in here, hit the plus button, and put that IP address in there. And then it'll save it here in this list of saved devices. Normally you shouldn't have to do that. It'll just pop up. As long as you're on a Mac, it'll pop up with the automatically with the name of the device that's nearby. If you're on Windows, you're going to want to enter in this IP address here because that setting doesn't work the same way. So once you've got your design uh, open here, you've got your two devices connected to each other, let's see what happens. Let's hit the fast review button. Now you'll see it's very quickly building. And let's pop out here and now you can see that here on my device, what it did is build all of the files it needed to build, wrote some XML, converted all the images, and pushed it immediately out to my reviewer app. So here you can see I've got my full function scrolling stuff going on. And now if I pop back out to my library, you'll see here's my reviewer. Now let's say I come in here and I change something. Maybe I want this over here, ugly as that might be. Let's hit fast review again. This is where having the library is really useful because it allows you to try things, do a sort of A and B test. Now you can see, oh, now it's over there. That's not good. So if we go back to our library, now you can see I've got 
both of my versions. And I've even got a timestamp so I can see which is which. Maybe I don't want these anymore. I don't want this ugly one. I can just hit the delete button. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yep. Or I can just delete everything by clicking this delete all up here as well. That's all you really need to do to connect your MagPlus reviewer on your device with your computer running in design and start reviewing all the things you're making in real time. Now there's a couple of other tricks to the MagPlus reviewer which we're going to cover in another video called Advanced Reviewer Setup.